What's up, folks? I'm here to clear up some misconceptions right off the fucking bat, okay? First of all, not all fat people are jolly. The only jolly motherfucking fat person I know is Santa Claus, and he's fucking made up in the first place. Not all fat girls have a great personality. Not true. Most fat people are pissed off motherfuckers. Now, I've established this before in other videos, in case you didn't notice, that I'm a fat motherfucker myself. So I can say what the fuck I want about fat people, all right? Now, the reason I bring this up is because I wasn't always big. There was a time where I was nice and lean and trim, so I know the difference of what it feels like to be really thin or really big. And being big sucks. Here's a number of reasons why. Let's just start with clothes. Right off the bat, when you go out shopping, shopping for new clothes sucks. All the old pimp shit that you had is now hanging in the closet. You can't wear any of it because the buttons are screaming, right? Or your belly's hanging out. That fucking sucks. You go down to the fucking store, you look at the mannequins, you're like, well, that looks pretty fucking fly. Let me try that shit on. Only sizes they have are skinny guy shit. The largest size they have is an XL. Fucking great, right? So, where do you find yourself? Over in the big and tall section. You finally find something that hangs on your shoulders nice and doesn't hug your love handles. But then the motherfucker hits you at your fucking knees. It's fucking ridiculous. Or you find you a shirt, a nice pullover polo type shirt. And the top of the shoulders are all the way down to here. Big and tall section. Fuck, man. And the whole clothing thing. When you get big, it's like it happens overnight. Last week, this pair of jeans fit no problem. This morning, you wasted 10 to 15 minutes of your fucking morning fighting to get that fucking button in that fucking hole. End up with a big blister on your thumb like you've been playing bass guitar for three fucking days. Yeah, you finally just give up, cinch your belt up, and hope that'll work, and hope that you can keep that fly up all day, and hope that nobody notices. Then you get home at the end of a long day's work, Fat motherfuckers, you know what I'm talking about. You get home, you fucking peel them motherfucking pants off, got them big bright red pressure marks on your hips and legs. Yeah, that's fucking hot, right? Oh, and forget about going anywhere. Forget about flying anywhere, right? Remember when you was a kid, you'd sit by the window, you'd fight with your brother or sister. Oh, I want the window. I want to look outside, right? Try that shit now, especially if you a big motherfucker or you a big bitch. Squeeze your ass into one of them tiny ass little fucking seats. I mean, they were great when you was 10 years old. And now you're 35 and you're 50 pounds overweight. Your ass just hugged up in that motherfucker like this. Like, oh shit. Then they get some motherfucker that makes you feel petite and squeeze that motherfucker in next to you. Well, you just all up against the fucking wall. Like, oh shit, I'm glad I got a window seat. What a bunch of fucking horse shit that is. Not to mention the fact that if you're there, you got three seats and they put some little skinny motherfucker in between you. You and another big motherfucker, right? And he comes over and he's like, oh, fuck. You just see the life drain out of him. Kind of like the same life that drains out of people when you go out to fucking eat, walk into a fucking Chinese buffet, and they all start talking in tongues, talking shit about you. You know they talking shit about you. You know they talk as shit because the whole tone of their voice changes and they don't know what they're saying. He ain't it now. You know, he's like, oh, you know, they're, you know they're talking about me. Shit. <laughs> you know, they pretend they're wiping the counter down or looking over their... God damn, how much is this motherfucker going to eat? Then in the summertime, of course, it's always real fucking fun to go swimming with your friends, right? Your skinny guy friends, these skinny dick motherfuckers. Get up on the diving board, try to show off, end up doing a belly buster, and everybody's like, oh, boy, you know that hurt. Try jumping your fat ass off that board and see what they say. Always the same shit. Ha! <laughs> the to pull back up! <laughs> you fucking skinny dick motherfuckers. <laughs> it's the little things that you start noticing when you get too much weight on you. You know, the shit that was so fucking easy when you were skinny. You know, simple shit, like tying your fucking shoes. Oh, yeah. And God forbid you fucking drop something, right? I mean, because you drop something on the ground, you're like, huh, you fat motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. You'll stop for a minute and look at that item and be like, 
How bad do I really want that, motherfucker? <laughs> and if you drop it on the floorboard of your car, well, <laughs> you just lost that to the game. And you got to love these motherfuckers that you run into. Say it's been five years since you've even seen them or even thought of them, right? And you've gained all this weight since then, right? And the first thing out of their fucking mouth is, My God, you put on some weight? That's when you got to come back with something real slick and ask them if they caught gingivitis because you notice their gums have receded quite a bit since the last time you've seen them. You, know? <laughs> you got to come up with something to leave them fucked up about their self-esteem. <laughs> uh, and you know we got to bring this up. The whole dating scene, right guys? You know what I'm talking about. Especially you guys that have been skinny before and now you big. The way you look at women. Before, you'd be like, yeah, I could pull that. Now you look at him like, hmm, I wonder if she'd suck a fat man's dick. <laughs> See, that's another thing, too, guys. Remember when you was skinny as a motherfucker, you'd have some bitch come over to your house? You get done slaying that motherfucker, and you stroll out like you just king shit, boy. You just strutting around the house, still got half a chub, go wash your cock in the bathroom sink, stroll into the kitchen, open the fridge, stand there for a minute, look around, grab that jug of orange juice, stroll back through the house, and buck naked, nothing but a pair of tube socks and a smile, stand in the fucking doorway, knocking back that fucking OJ. How you doing, baby? Trying to get your sexy on, and she's looking at you, checking you out. You thinking that you hot shit, right? That's some skinny guy shit. When you get big, it ain't going down like that. You already got yourself a Diet Coke sitting next to the bed because you know you're going to be thirsty when you get done pumping and sweating. There ain't going to be no skipping around the fucking house. Ease off the side of the bed and get that fucking Diet Coke. Hey, <laughs> let me get a drink real quick. <laughs> Getting a blowjob just ain't the same anymore. Remember, you can just lay back with your fucking fingers laid behind your head, just kind of look down, see her lips hit the base of it. Now you're just watching her go around the tip. You got to be sitting up in a fucking chair. You want to watch that shit. <laughs> and don't you find it funny how people think that you being fat, you should naturally just be warm all the time because you're such a fucking sweat hog. Like skinny motherfuckers don't sweat. Right? But I got news for you skinny motherfuckers. Fat people do not feel sorry for you when you talk about how fat you are. We don't feel sorry for you when you say you wish you could put on weight. Nobody feels sorry for you. Here's a couple more things I'm going to lay down for you skinny motherfuckers, okay? First of all, fat people know they're fat, okay? They know that every morning when they wrestle themselves into their clothes or get winded when they're tying their fucking shoes, Right? You don't need to remind them, you don't need to tell them, and you damn sure don't need to rub their fucking stomach or poke them in the belly like they're the Pillsbury Doughboy. That's not fucking cute. I always give the same answer when they want to point out my belly. I tell them just like this. It's called Cinderella fat. It turns to Peter after midnight. 